Okay, so I just watched the Super Bowl performance of Usher. And as he was performing, he started to thank God. And then also he thanked his mom and he proceeded to say that they finally made it, okay? And the real question that comes to mind is this, is Usher a Christian or not? And also if he is a Christian, is he saved or is he lukewarm? I think we're gonna come to the answer by the end of this video, okay? So let's go ahead and watch these couple of videos I wanna show y'all, and then we're gonna talk about it and figure it out. But before we do, do me a favor real quick, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm so that they can push this out to other people like you. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? And hit the post notification bell so you don't miss another video. Let's hop into the video right now. It's like a moment in time where your kids were saying, Dad, you should do the Super Bowl, yeah. and you knew you were doing the Super Bowl. Well, yeah. Uh, as of August the 11th, I knew, and I had to keep it a secret up until the grand and unveiling for the world, and I couldn't let my kids know. So because my kids were like, Dad, you should play the Super Bowl. I'm like, oh, really? That's a good idea. You should, might want to pray about that. You should pray about that, man. If you feel like I really deserve it, man, let's just say a prayer together. So I'm like... <laughs> but their prayers were answered. Their prayers were answered. Yeah. A few of his prayers will hmm. be answered, too. Okay, so he's obviously, he has to have some form of belief, right? Because he said that he's having his kids pray about him going to the Super Bowl, even though he knew he already had the deal to go to the Super Bowl. So it seems to me like he does have some type of faith to have his kids even pray. Because if you're an atheist, you aren't gonna, you're not going to have your kids pray. So let's continue on. Usher, can you talk about how important spirituality is to you and what type of foundation do you have to keep you grounded in this industry? Um, and this is Usher as a, a younger Usher, okay? For those that may not know, this is him way back before he became who he is today. Well, I think Flavor Flav said it best, don't believe the hype, you know? But, um, you know, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has kept me grounded. And, um, you know, luckily I was blessed with a family. Uh, and I was around people as a child who, you know, made me go to church, made me understand uh, Christ and the relationship of having, you know, I mean, having a relationship with God. And uh, that has always kept me centered. Okay. This is what we're going to do today. We're going to visualize the reality of the world we want to be in. I want you to find a comfortable spot. I want you to sit down or either lay down. Set a timer for five minutes and close your eyes uninterrupted. Start by visualizing the ideal performance space that you see in your mind. Is it a field? Are you in an arena? Are you in a stadium? Are you in your church? Are you at your school? Whatever you visualize, that is the reality that you're setting for yourself. What does it sound like? What color are the walls? What color are the seats, the stadium seats? Watch your fans slowly fill into the space. Listen to their excitement. Picture yourself backstage calmly waiting to perform for your audience who's excited to see you perform, who came to hear you sing, see you dance, watch you perform. Okay, so this is what I got from all of that, okay? One, I do think that he believes in Jesus Christ. I think he has some type of faith. I don't know how strong his faith is. But the real thing is this, okay? I believe that Usher is a lukewarm Christian. And I believe that he fell into being a lukewarm Christian because of all the fame and his name and the money that he got from being a great singer. God has given him this gift to sing and he's using it for his own glory. And that leads me to this. I think his biggest thing is that he has an idol worship of himself. And that can be very dangerous because that is the same kind of worship that Satan has. Satan idols himself. He wanted to be God. I believe that Usher idols himself and who he is, as you can tell by what he was saying about visualizing who, where you want to be, the fans coming to see you and cheering for you and singing your songs. If you are a Christian, everything that you do has to be centered around Christ, not yourself. And that's going to be more evident as we watch his halftime show. Okay, I'm going to, hopefully I don't get demonetized by this, but I want to, I wanted y'all to hear the music. Um, watch how everything is just all about him. This is the halftime show about Usher. Um, even though he thanked God for five seconds, that has nothing to do with you, it being all about you. Your entire career is centered around you. And so you, by default, fall into idolization of your own self. And watch how the people in the fan, the fans in the crowd are just gathered around him and they're glorifying him. 
I know it's supposed to be like that because he's a singer, but it's idol worship. Look at this image right here. I mean, it's it doesn't get more idolizing than this. It doesn't. Look at he he's on a big stage, center stage. Everyone's there for him. People spend millions and millions of dollars to be able to be there and watch him. Be there for him. Um it's idol worship. I want to say this real quick, okay? I'm not trying to like make him sound like some horrible person, okay? Because we all fall into sin. But I do believe that he, throughout his entire career, he has taken God out of the picture in place of himself and his money and his fame. Um, and I, I, I don't, I mean, and at the end of the day, when we all go away, and we all die, none of this is going to matter. Only thing that's going to matter is your faith in Jesus Christ and your life that you live serving Jesus Christ, being a Christian. All the money, the fame, the lights, the women, none of that stuff matters. It's good that he's a Christian, but it would be even better if he exercised his faith more. Now, I will say this last part, okay, is that in the Bible, it says that they worship me and glorify me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And I believe that Usher falls into that category of he glorifies God with his lips by saying thank he thanks God on the biggest stage, which is good, but his heart is far from God. Because as you can see, the women that was on there, um, the flashiness, okay, everything being centered around him, and even his lifestyle outside of this Super Bowl performance, his general lifestyle, none of it really has anything to do with God. And as a Christian, I think that is wrong. And I think you've fallen into a place where you don't want to be at. But with that being said, I do believe that he has faith in Jesus Christ. And if he does have faith in Jesus Christ, that means that he can be changed. That means that God can still work on him. He is an fi um, unfinished product that is still being worked on by the king, okay? But with all that being said, it was a great halftime performance, I must say. Um, it's just idolizing, man. It's idolizing. Look, let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section, okay? If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss another video, okay? My name is Aaron Page. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video. Until next time, I'm out.